you know, watch every single thing that you're doing all the time. So, I mean, that's a pretty severe uh, situation going on, and that's why they're trying to push for all these smart appliances, too. I mean, the smart meter. Well, the smart meter dials into those, and it's the main surveillance hub. Right, and it's a threat to the house, too, because now you're having fires all over the country with people in installing these smart meters. I remember reading, even to, to, to their credit, a CNN article a few years ago on air, where it admitted that, in fact, we probably pulled the headline up, that cell phone radiation, quote, rattles and breaks DNA, and that that's why the brain tumors are increasing. It literally just breaks up your DNA, then the mutations start. Explain to people you know, what that means. Well, there's been pictures and videos online of someone taking with a tree next to a smart meter, and there's some aphids on a leaf. And every time the smart meter pulses, you can see the aphids actually shake. So what happens is this microwave radiation is the same stuff that your microwave oven cooks food in. It's just not as strong. And what it does is it can literally, those pulses of, of electromagnetic or actually radio frequency or microwave energy go in and alter the DNA structure and it actually can break it and it can cause genetic mutations because a house runs on 60 hertz. I mean, that's what the general grid is set at. But with the smart meter, you're pumping in about 928 million hertz into a 60 hertz grid. So uh, it can cause headaches. It can cause memory loss, memory fatigue. It can cause a thyroid disruption. It can cause... Uh, many, many, many bone, muscle pain. It can initiate cancer. World Health Organization came out in 2011 and said that radio frequency microwave energy causes, uh, class classified it as a, as a two carcinogen. So, I mean, all of this on top of every single thing else that people are doing, not eating healthy, you know, uh, using VOCs in their house, uh, drinking the fluoridated tap water. I mean, it's a combination of things, but when you're stuck, into in a radio frequency grid and you can't get out of it, all that's going to do is just initiate disease even more. But I remember in the 90s, there were literally, because I read the news every day, thousands of news articles, hundreds a year, mainline going, no, cell phones do cause brain cancer. And then I've talked to brain surgeons and they go, no, we're seeing a ton of them right on the side you hold the cell phone to. All these rare brain tumors are off the charts. I'll be sitting at dinner wherever people are like, yeah, Bob's got brain cancer. I go, how old's Bob? Oh, he's 40. I mean, it is just epidemic. Right, 60% increase in brain cancer since cell phones came out. And if you read the fine print on an iPhone, it actually says that in article whatever in the agreement that you signed that it needs to be held five-eighths of an inch away from your head. Now, children's skulls are a lot thinner, so children are going to be affected you know, exponentially worse than adults are, especially being sensitive. And that brings up a whole other subject, which we're talking about all the Wi-Fi routers that are in all the public schools and all the children now that are being mislabeled. See, instead of the doctor saying, uh, let me look at your diet, let me look at what you're exposed to in your environment, to figure out what's causing your health problems. What you go into your doctor and you come up with all these symptoms and then they put you, they diagnose you with ADD. They're not looking at, oh yes, you're hypersensitive to uh, microwave frequency. You shouldn't be eating five candy bars a day. Right. Uh, you shouldn't be drinking right. Coca-Cola all day. Uh, you're, you know, you're having sugar spikes, you're hypoglycemic. There's a hundred things. Right. And, and that's what I harp on. There's a multi-thousand percent increase in breast cancer the last 50 years. The U.S. leads the world next to England. They go to third world countries, no one's getting breast cancer. I mean, literally, it just doesn't exist. And there, we got to find a cure. No one asks, why is it exploding? Why are the brain tumors exploding? Why is cancer in kids exploding more than 10,000%? Why? There's no discussion. It's like, oh, we're going to get a treatment for that. No, what's causing it? Exactly. That's my whole point. What's the root cause of disease? That's the true doctor is going to find out what the root cause of that individual's disease is and then address it. And, you know, like we used to do, we used to go into the individual patient's house and say, okay, you need to throw out all this stuff. Look at these chemicals, educate the patient on what all is causing disease. These artificial dyes are causing this, these MSG and all this other stuff are excitotoxins in your brain. This stuff, the artificial sweeteners are, you know, contributing to this. You know, here's you're sleeping with your laptop on your lap at night. You know, you have 
uh, chemicals, toxic chemicals that you're cleaning with. You know, all these things are contributing to disease, and it's very simple. Eliminate this stuff from your life or replace it with non-toxic stuff, and then the disease goes away, and your body can heal itself because we all have a self-healing mechanism. It's like breast cancer. Okay, what's causing breast cancer? Too much estrogen, not enough testosterone, iodine deficiency, and women wearing bras and putting their cell phones right in their bras. Oh, yeah, have you noticed women put their cell phones in their bras? I see it all the time. They walk around with their cell phone. For those who don't know, cell phones are always on, sending data back and forth. That's right. And smart meters are, too. They say that smart meters only pulse a couple times a day, but they're on all day long pulsing. I mean, they're relaying information to other smart meters. And now they're talking about putting Wi-Fi, you know. Stay there, stay there. Clean you guys holding. And it's perfect timing that you guys held because they just announced minutes ago. It's up on Infowars.com, DrudgeReport.com. CBS Los Angeles, we'll put that article up on screen. NBA suspends Clippers owner Donald Sterling, imposes a 2.5 million fine. Folks, if people want to boycott and run the team out of business, and then he has to sell it for nothing and loses his money, that's how you punish him. They set the precedent over free speech. How do you expel someone who owns the team? That'd be like if a player had a $20 million contract and said something racist. Uh, I mean, can you fire him? Or is it in the contract? Well, Sterling doesn't, I don't think, have a contract. He's going to have antitrust suits big time over this. It's going to turn into a huge mess. And if it prevails, this is a major blow against free speech. So uh, I don't know where this is going, but uh, it's, I mean, I'm not sad for him personally, but I'm sad for the First Amendment. Uh, Ronell in New York, thanks for holding. You're awesome for doing that. What's your take on this whole thing? Hi, Alex. Yes, sir. Um, uh, I think that it's, it really is a distraction so that they can, uh, come up with what is the next thing that they're going to stage? Well, I think the next thing is, uh, you can't say the word fiesta. That's not racist. Mm -hmm. Like you say, let's have a fiesta party. <laughs> and, and then you, uh, you know, for your kid, I've had parties for my kids that were fiesta birthday parties where you had pinatas. I didn't know that was racist. I thought kids had fun beating being Dr. Group, have your kids ever had a pinata? Absolutely. And that was because you were deeply against Hispanics? No, just because they wanted to have a pinata. Now, and then when you go to a Mexican food restaurant, though, it's because you don't like Mexicans, right? No, it's because I like Mexican food. Exactly. But the, the, this is where it's going. I think that's where it's going. They'll use a few old fossils like Sterling to, like, demonize the First Amendment. But, I mean, you held a long time. What's your take on this? Um, I think it's it's time to... Turn off the NBA. It's time to turn off MSNBC. I hear and, you. I hear you. Oh, something else. Go ahead. Uh, and make and force them to uh, focus on the real news, like Congress being exempt from all the laws they pass. Exactly. That's the real discrimination. Great point, Ronell. Chris in Minnesota, thanks for holding you on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, thanks for taking my call. Yeah, absolutely, Alex, this is a distraction. Um, I love your show, and I love how you're exposing that the Democratic Party is the racist party. They are the ones who hate black people. Well, the Republicans they aren't perfect either. It's just the Democrats really are the Klan. I mean, it's a big joke. Right. You know, if you use a Star Wars analogy, the Democrats are the Sith, you know, are the separatists, and the uh, the Republicans of the Republic who are compromising with, anyway, that's a whole other analogy. No, but it's a good analogy, and then the Emperor is staging the terror attacks and acting like he's the guy fighting racism when he's the ultimate racist. He's the one, he's the, so the Republicans are guilty also because they compromise, and I love the fact that you keep bringing up the issue of abortion, which I'm fighting on my YouTube channel called All Hands on Deck, One Word, Abolitionists, because... 3,000 kids are dying a day. The black community is being totally wiped out, and these black leaders are fake. And I love that you're bringing that up. Sir, that's time. racist. If you don't want to kill black people, you're racist. Well, you know, <laughs> you know, I mean, they can't pull that on me, man. I honestly, yeah, it's for black callers today, right? They can't pull that on me. And so it is a distraction. They don't want people to, to grow up. And so keep fighting this fight, man. Uh, I'm raging with you, like I said, on our YouTube channel. And check out the abolitionist movement. Because That's a great name, all hands on deck. God bless you. Chris in Michigan, we're moving fast now. Thanks for holding. You're on the air with Dr. Group. Hey, uh, I'm a mulatto from the Metro Detroit area. I'm going to start this off with a powerful quote from um, Malcolm X. Nobody can give you freedom. Nobody can give you equality or justice or anything. If you're a man, you take it. 
But now it's time for the African-American communities to mobilize to take that freedom back. There's no black role models. There's no Alex Joneses or modern MLK. I was about to say, uh, I want to get a bunch of black Alex Joneses on here. We got Jakari Jackson. He's probably even better than me in many ways. But the whole point is I want freedom. And, and notice they won't give anybody leaders. They, they, they don't have any white leaders that the media pushes that are like us. Stay there. I'm going to come back to you, let you finish. We're going to get Dr. Group's take on this. We're going to do some overdrive with Dr. Group today. Can you do it? Absolutely. Overdrive coming up. We'll do 30 minutes of it. So I want to get deep into